The iPhone X is Apple's most breakable phone yet, which means you're probably gonna crack your display at some point. Apple wants to try to charge you almost $300 to fix it for you, but I've got a way that'll save you some dough. Today, I'm gonna show you how to replace the display, and I'll show you how to maintain Face ID when you make the swap. Remember that by opening your device, you're losing water resistance, so be mindful of exposing your phone to water from now on. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to back up your phone to iCloud. We'll need to do a DFU reset after we swap the screen in order to preserve Face ID functionality. For this repair, you're going to need a P2 Penelope screwdriver, a tri-point Y000 driver, a spudger, tweezers, an eye opener, an eye slack, and opening picks. Start by removing the strangely long P2 Penelope screws by the lightning connector. Next, use an eye opener to soften the adhesive on the edge of the phone. This will also help you insert an opening pick to cut away the adhesive. Once you get to the side with the power button, be careful, the display connectors reside on this side and going in too deep with your pick can damage them. Go all around the phone, making sure you cut away the remaining adhesive. The iPhone X still opens up to the right, just like the iPhone 7 and 8, but all the connectors are now under one bracket to rule them all. Go ahead and remove those five tri-point screws and lift the bracket away with your tweezers. Grab your spudger and pray to the cable gods that you disconnect the right cables. Just kidding, I'll show you where to start. Start by disconnecting the battery. It's the third one up from the bottom. Then disconnect the three display connectors. It's easier if you just follow the cables to its connector on the logic board. With all the connectors disconnected, you can remove the old display. To install your new display, follow the previous directions in reverse order. To re-enable Face ID, we're gonna need to do a DFU reset on your phone. So grab your phone, connect it to your computer, and turn on iTunes. Once you've done that, make sure your phone's turned off again. Press the power button down for three seconds. Then use your other finger to press the bottom volume button down at the same time. Hold them both down for 10 seconds, then release only the power button. Keep holding the volume button for approximately five more seconds. If your screen stays black after all that, then you did it. Your iPhone is now in DFU mode. iTunes should be able to detect your phone now. When you wanna exit DFU mode, press the power and bottom volume button at the same time for 10 seconds and then the Apple logo should appear. That's all for this repair. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you've got the latest repair and teardown videos in your back pocket for your next fix. I'll see you next time.